Hello, my name is Eric Dibble. I'm a regional sales manager at HF Scientific. Today we're gonna to do a short video explaining how to do the monthly reagent change on the HF Scientific CLX online chlorine monitor. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you come to the analyzer is to put the unit into a hold mode, you're gonna press the center button on the left which says service. After you wait a few seconds, the words hold will come up on the screen. And that means that your analyzer is in hold mode, there's no water going in, so you're safe to go ahead and change the reagents. Once it says hold, we'll start by taking the old reagents out. We want to hold the cap and twist the bottle to, to take the reagent out. The most important part about our reagent change is making sure that we flush the lines um, before we put the new reagents in. So to flush the lines, we'll take the syringe that was provided with the analyzer, we will take our DI water, we'll fill the syringe with DI water, and we are gonna take the lure lock at the end and put it right into the end of the tubing that goes down in the reagent bottle. We will push the tube all the way through. And what we're gonna watch while we're doing this is we wanna watch the line and the water go into the line, up into the optical block, and what that's doing is it's making sure that there's nothing that has been salted out in the line over the past month. It's making sure that this check valve and the check valve at the optical block are both uh, free and clear. There's nothing stuck inside of them, so we're going to get good reagent delivery. Once we flush 10 milliliters of DI water through, we will do the same thing on the other side. DI water into the syringe, lure lock into the end, and we will go ahead and push the DI water through on both sides. So after we flush the lines, we are ready to go ahead and mix our new reagents. The first one we'll mix is the buffer solution. Start by taking the cap off and then pressing your finger on the edge to puncture the seal. You may not be able to get all the seal off, but you can get the majority of it. Whatever's left on, just make sure that you push the edges down to make sure we get a clean seal around the outside. We'll take our DI water and we'll fill the bottle about halfway. We'll then take our cap and to mix the reagents, we don't need to shake them vigorously. All we need to do is invert it. So we'll in the, invert this for about 30 seconds and then we will fill it the rest of the way to the fill line. we we'll put the cap back on. We will invert this. And you may see a little bit of powder still at the bottom. That's okay. Let it sit while you mix the rest of your reagents. The next step is to mix the indicator. To mix the indicator, start again by taking the heat seal. Just put your finger right in the corner, pop the heat seal, and use your finger to pull the heat seal off. Again, whatever part of that seal doesn't come off, make sure you're pushing it down so we can get a good, tight seal on the rest of the bottle. Take your DI water, we'll fill our indicator about a quarter way, put the top on, and we'll invert it very gently. Again, no need to shake this too vigorously. A couple seconds of that, take the top off, then we'll come get our, our DPD powder. Take the top off of your DPD powder, remove the seal, we're just gonna go ahead and pour this whole bottle right in. We will then take our DI water, fill the bottle the rest of the way to the fill line. We will go ahead, again, just to gen gently invert it. No need to shake it super hard. Don't need that for the reagents to mix in there. So again, leave it sit about 30 seconds. While we're doing that, we can come back over to our buffer solution. We can look in the bottom and see, okay, everything is dissolved. We're ready to go ahead and hook this back up. So we'll take the top off. Sticker behind says buffer. We will place our line, which we've already flushed, into the bottle. And what we like to do is hold the top in one place and kind of twist the bottle into the cap. That way we're not, we're not twisting the cap at all. Once it's in, place it there. We like to make sure that our line is not out in front of the bottle like that, but is instead tucked behind. Perfect, while we do that, we'll come back, we'll check our, we'll check our indicator, 
There's no chunks in the bottom, so we're good to go. Same thing, put the line inside and hold the cap, twist the bottle into the cap, even if the front's, that's fine. And again, make sure that line is there. Once you have the new reagents in, we need to prime the new reagent lines. So we'll hit prime, upper left corner. It will prompt us to hit the enter button. So we'll hit the enter button. And that will prime the pump 75 times. While the pump is priming, what we want to look for is we want to make sure that we see air bubbles coming through these lines here. We want to make sure that we see reagent being pushed into the, into the optical block there. And you'll see that reagent moving through. The reagent pump will pump 75 times. And as long as you're good, as long as you can see that reagent moving through, then you're ready to go and the analyzer will go back into normal operation. It will go into a water cal mode, which basically runs a little self-diagnostic, and then it will begin operation in the next two and a half minutes. Thank you for watching the CLX reagent change video. If you have any further questions, please call the HF Scientific Sales Team or the HF Scientific Tech Support Team.